You are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Prime. Um, disclaimer, like I said, every fucking uh, episode, we don't care if we liked it or not. We still watch your shit and congratulations to you. We support you and uh, shout out to you, nigga, because you, you made it. We don't know you. We're watching this. Your movie, anybody around the world can watch your shit. You made it, my nigga. You famous. You good. Just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't ask you to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. <laughs> LJ. We need to talk. Now. Now you got Lance's character and his family. Right. And, and I think I think um I think that that's what the world is highlighting that one mm-hmm. because because of his relationship with the son and and the reaction from black fathers. Yeah. And I think uh not for every black father that's his reaction is is the the basic reaction of something you don't understand. Mm-hmm. And it's like you can't fault you can't fault a nigga from for understanding. It, he never once said he hated his child. He just didn't understand the shit. Right. Yeah. He was definitely like him being so, you know, religious and mm-hmm. you know, kind of stuck in his ways when it came to that. When you hear, oh, well, first of all, like he didn't he didn't really get the conversation with his son right away. It's just like I he caught it. You know what I mean? Like you walk in. He, he was thrown off. Right. You, you come in the door, your son got lipstick on. That's wild. You know what I mean? Right. Especially if you if you grew up a certain way, you got you got certain um you got certain ways of looking at life. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? For for what you is normal. So that's that that's the way you see the world. It's it's um you get the same over the top reaction if you came in, your son holding a pistol. Right. You know what I mean? It's like you, your your first instinct is your first instinct. You 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 gonna uh reprimand that nigga like and, and it's like, it's only because of your, I don't want to say your ignorance, it's because you don't understand mm-hmm. from that. So it's like you, the, everybody's faulting him for it, but he like, shit, I don't know what to do. He was more confused than, he didn't hate, he didn't hate him at all, but he was, he was more confused. Like, like nigga, this, for, for me, this ain't right. You know what I mean? I thought you was going to be the next me. And, right, pretty yeah. much. That's a, And that's what he was trying to build him up to do. Yeah. So, I mean, that was, um, yeah, that, that, that definitely was, uh, a weird way to find out like you know what i mean every, mm-hmm. and everybody else know like lance yeah, everybody always, knows. Lance always getting the, the information in a weird way like nigga he, i was all y'all knew <laughs> what did terrence <laughs> howard say when he found out that nigga said what is a uh <laughs> what the fuck did he say it was like non-bindering <laughs> yeah, that nigga said, what non-bind- is non-bindering mean? hey what's up what the fuck is non-bindering oh did lj tell you and it's non-binary lj doesn't ascribe to the same gender binary that we cis people do wait who are you calling a cis <laughs> it's like uh lj is non-binary <laughs> <laughs> now you can leave it to that nigga to be funny as fuck <laughs> in those situations but yeah that that whole i, I knew it was coming Cause like his his character, they put a lot on his character in the beginning. Like he kept. Mm-hmm. At first, I thought he had a crush on Jordan because he kept smiling at her. And that's shit. what I thought. That's what I thought too. But mm-hmm. they, but it was like the the mannerisms. I was like, nah, something else going on. Yeah, and then he, you know, when he pulled out the boots before he even put them on, I was just like, mm, I was like this is where they going, you know. Mm-hmm. What I mean? And I figured, you know what I mean. Like this is this is new, twenty twenty two TV. You know what I mean? Yep. Like it's gonna happen. Somebody. And is either you gonna have a gay character already, or somebody's gonna find out a person is gay? Like that's that's coming. Every, every you know I mean, every well, not every series, but you know, a lot of these new series that's coming out, they're gonna touch on that subject. You know, it, I mean? it got it. They got to go have to tap on it in some way, right? So, and, and like I and like I said, it, it was his uh, because I wouldn't I, if it was if I was in that position, I wouldn't react because because we're more we're younger than that nigga is. Yeah, so we, we're kind of. We, we kind of we see it firsthand that the new generation what they do so we're not we're not as judgmental but he comes from the older the 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 church shit like the uh mm-hmm. this the is the way of god way. this is the way yeah. even though he out there fucking everything moving he's still like when it comes to this this is the way of god you know what i mean oh yeah yeah absolutely like you know yeah I mean, i'm gonna put it out like christians like you know christianity is very like 
there's so many pieces, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you, like there's a, a base model, <laughs> but then yeah. you have so many different kits. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> Niggas be like, oh, no, you can't do this, but I'm doing this because God know me. You know what I mean? It's like, there's a, there's a lot of that in, in a lot of Christian households or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> but when it comes to uh, his son, uh, uh, I don't know, man. Like, just being in that position, just like you said, I, at this point, I would not react in the way that he did because I don't right. want. I don't want my son. I already know how this generation is. They're very mm-hmm. like oh, sensitive man. to touch. Sensitive, like you know. What I mean, you got to understand your kid because if you don't, like you know, that's that was another thing that I felt like they were going to touch on was suicide. And I'm just like, yeah, that right. That's, that's the last thing that I would want to have on my mind. That I didn't talk mm-hmm. to my son because I had a, had an attitude. I was angry, so it made him do something you know as extreme as that. So I would yeah. that way. I would have been kind of not even disappointed, just more like shit. Like I want my son to be out here in these streets, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but at the same time, you know what I mean. I I understand. You know what I mean. Like these kids, it's it's a different world now because I don't know if back in our time, like there was probably some people out there just in down on the down low. I'm sure, like in high school, you heard about the rumors and shit. Like motherfuckers was. Like, oh, this nigga is like that. This nigga is like that, but it just wasn't out in the open as it is now. Like, I think we right. Might- it, it, you know what? Um, I don't think we were as judgmental to the gay dude that 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 the gay dudes we grew up around that was just out. Mm-hmm. We didn't give a fuck because them niggas didn't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? Like, right. there, like the, there the, wasn't a lot of them either. It was like it wasn't was you. No, it was it, it wasn't was a lot right. of them that was saying it. Right, exactly. The niggas was just. You heard rumors and you kind of just like, well, shit, whatever, you know, right? Is what it is. But like traditional, like old school, like born in the the sixties and fifties, like nigga, what? Hey, hey, hey! (laughs) Not behind her. (laughs) 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 But uh, (laughs) even back then, a lot of niggas was on that shit. You you know what? You know what exposed most of the OGs in churches? The nigga cell phones. (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's when you find out old nigga george from church is telling you you can't wear sneakers in church got a whole another family down the street like because oh, the nigga cell phones existed now 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 we doing shit to catch these niggas so it's like that that whole church judgment shit it, it's like it's like now you're being exposed for being a fucking human live your life the way you want to if you ain't fucking Pretty much, if you ain't fucking up nobody else's life, I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't give a fuck if you my kids, whoever you are. If you ain't out here fucking up somebody else's life, that's the only time I'm going to have a problem with you. Right, out there it, in the streets robbing or some shit like that, yeah. Yeah, whatever you doing on, on your personal... Nigga, when you leave my house, I'm here. All right, whatever I do in my house, I'm here. You do whatever you want out there, I'm going to love you regardless. But if you out there fucking somebody else up, if you fucking up somebody else's life, now you got to deal with me. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. I don't give a fuck what you going through, what you doing. Yeah, like that. You're right about the whole um, the phone thing, uh, social mm-hmm. media, like all of that shit is now put on blast because it was at a point in time in our lives to where nobody knew your business. You know what I mean? If, yeah. you, if you was gay, if you was transsexual, I mean, what is that? Trans? I don't want to fuck get canceled out all here. Right, don't say none of them. All right. If you was uh, a part of the <laughs> LGBTQ community, nobody knew and nobody cared. It was just like, that's your house. Like, nobody knew yeah. that information. But now it's like, niggas posting, you got... You now know. you got to know. Nigga, it ain't none of your goddamn business. Like, like hey, I'm coming out on Facebook. Like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nigga didn't even know that. It was like, back in the day, nigga, you could do whatever you wanted. That's why motherfuckers had two, three families. Because it's like, yeah. there's nobody... Ain't nobody, can nobody catch you on nothing. What'd you catch me on? Like, you got a video, <laughs> you got a video camera. I'm going to see it. This nigga's like, yeah. walking like this. Like, nigga, I caught that nigga on a... <laughs> this yeah, you really... Holding on your shoulder. Like, I caught you. Like, you Before you. that, you just had, you just had Shirley with all the information. She don't know what the fuck she talking about half the time. Yeah, I don't know a fuck what you talking about. My wife come to me with Shirley's information. I'm like, who? You believe that? <laughs> you always talking that shit. I ain't got no family nowhere. Prove it. Prove it, nigga. I ain't in nobody's <laughs> social media pictures. Nothing. Right, but they showed, like I said, they showed a good angle of a nigga uh, from his generation not understanding his re- his reaction. Like I, he he pretty much gave the 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 feeling of not accepting without saying I don't accept you, but I don't I don't think it was on purpose. He was more so confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. It fucked him up, and, and it's like 
like I said, we we're a younger generation than them. So we we kind of see it more firsthand. But even uh that's why Terrence Howard reacted the way he did. He didn't judge him on it, but he was just like, nigga, what the fuck is a, a non-binder? Non, non-binder. <laughs> Just like you said, he sh- he should have had that conversation first instead of reacting because it's like at, at one point he didn't even listen to his son. Like his son was pr- like he came in there tried to throw away the nigga clothes, you know. Yeah, the kind of yeah. nigga is like he pretty much like once he found out he acted like it didn't happen, you know. Yeah, and, and that's where he went wrong. You know what I mean? Like nigga was like, I wish you were dead instead of mom. You know what I mean? It's like that nigga didn't even that was crazy, and nigga. <laughs> but, in his mind, I, I feel like what he said at the uh, the card table would have made more sense because, like, I get it. But then the fact that he didn't talk to his son now, I don't get it. When he said, like, I'm not going to support what my son is going to when this generation is fickle as fuck. Like, this generation is mm-hmm. going, they do go through phases. So it's like one day you like mm-hmm. boys, one day you like girls, now you like boys again. Now you want to do this, now you want to do that. So it's just like, I now get you that a lesbian. Part now you a lesbian with kids by niggas, right? You know what I mean. So I get that part of it, but at the same time, he didn't have that initial conversation to even find mm-hmm. out. You know what I mean? Like you didn't get to know your son from that point on, so you were in denial, you know right? I mean? <laughs> at that point, you know? right? If you're not gonna listen, then don't assume that this nigga is a, a part of yeah. that generation that is fickle. You know what I mean? If he says he is who he is, like hey, listen, like hear him out. Before right, you. it's it's like it's like you, you first you say first you first you let them know like I'm not mad at you I don't hate you but I do need to un- I, I do want that understanding so do that that nigga just jumped to conclusions like nah nigga you you lying like what <laughs> wait yeah. what you think you think I put this shit on an accident nigga this is me what the fuck yeah. are you talking about right right yeah I was thinking to myself I was like man if something like that happened to me it's like I don't need like I think I'd be of course, I'm gonna listen to my son, but it's like I have a weird sense of humor, so I'm be talking about him, but not in a way to make him want to like. I hope I wouldn't be doing it like I would have a conversation before I did it, but it's like in my household, like we, we make jokes. So it's and that's like, and that's, that's and who that's, you are. That's what I was about Ooh. to say. So that's dangerous grounds <laughs> because I know yeah. when you say we got jokes, how we be joke, we be talking shit. You know what I mean? Like we be, yeah. we don't, we don't mean it from the heart. Like we be talking shit in here, but outside I'll be somebody ass. They said that too. Exactly. So I was just like in the house, I ain't going to make it known. I'm going to make sure that you understand that I understand. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm here for you, but you're going to get these jokes. You're going to get these else. jokes. <laughs> you, <laughs> gonna, you know what I mean? I if like, you came out, I come down and say, I see the high heels. I'm like, is this yours or your sister's? That's a joke to me. <laughs> <That's> a- <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a joke. I, you don't want them to be like, oh, oh, dad hates me. He don't get me. It ain't that. I'm just, yeah, it's just like we nigga, talk shit. It's just what we do. I'm going to be walking on eggshells in my house. You know what I mean? Straight up. Like, I accept you should accept me. Except right. the fact that you're going to get these jokes. Hey, I, I understand what you like and what you do. Cool. Mm-hmm. But got these jokes. You're going to get these jokes. <laughs> I'm like a motherfucking ass, nigga. <laughs> forgot your skirt my nigga hey you know what you got on jeans for bro and hey, hey, you would want them to take that <laughs> <laughs> shut up dad that, that's the, the response i want is just like yeah up, like you know what i mean we laugh about it but yeah we more we're more accepting so yeah. it's it's like like you said like i said if your if your lifestyle ain't harming nobody else i don't have no opinion on it pr- pretty much you do whatever you want right and depending on who your son is, you gonna that's how you're gonna come at it. I ain't gonna come at my son if I feel like he's gonna he gonna be sensitive about it. He's like he he real serious about it. I'm gonna be like, hey, you know, you do what you do, brother. You know what I mean? Straight up. Straight up. No judgments over here. Yeah. And if a nigga outside of here wanna judge it, talk to me, nigga. You say catch my fade one good time. Right now. <laughs> right I, now. I think Lance's character development was 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 good as well. Um mm-hmm. he went from, you know. All he went through with, like, you know, his football career, you know, his wife passing away, all of the kids that, you know, he had to raise. Um, I really, I feel like the girl that he was trying to get with was still kind of like, mm, I get it. But then she was just so sexy. She was not, yeah, she was, she was, but she just wasn't, <laughs> she, she wasn't in the the film enough for me to be like okay that's their relationship. Their relationship kind of moved in a, a weird way. It's like, okay, he found out she was getting married. So he was kind of like, they, they left it alone. And then he accidentally called her one time. And then it was like, oh, out of nowhere. Now this bitch work at, not to say bitch, I'm sorry. Now she work at uh, 
<laughs> I'm talking regular like a motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I don't have media training yet. Um, now it was real coincidental. It was real coincidental. But, like, now, but now you live where I live, and you work in a hotel that I'm having my ceremony. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it, that was real coincidental. But her her character was important because she didn't jump on him like everybody else. Her her approach to him was nigga, you can't touch me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But compared to every other woman he met, it was he more was like, like you said, you woke up in the morning next to her. So yeah. her approach was more on the, uh, because it, he's he's trying to con- he's trying to console himself with dealing with different women. And he finally ran up on a woman that he could possibly, because it ain't, it ain't one of his close circle women, he could mm-hmm. possibly do something with her, but she's like, nah, nigga, before you even put that in your head, I got a situation. So yeah. it, it, it forced him, if it forced him to face the realities of his wife being gone and the, the bullshit he's doing. Cause you ain't, you ain't getting nothing out of fucking these women. Yeah, absolutely not. So I just feel like I want I wanted more of since he lost his wife, right. And his wife mm-hmm. was like this special part of him. You know what I mean? Like I wanted, like if he was going to meet somebody, I wanted to have that same, uh, I guess, I mean, the fact that she was in another country was like a bad part. Like if he was dating her and you kind of see their love story kind of build, I felt like I would have appreciated some of that since, you know, the last story was so strong, but you know, they did what they did. I mean, it's technically about Harper. Like the story is called the best man. He is the best man. It's not. Yeah. It's not really about, it's not really about Lance really. But, but I will say the fact that she was in another country makes it, more important for his character because she's not accessible he can't just get to her yeah he can't he can't he can't keep trying to put on the game and be suave niggas like you you hope you see her to see her again it's it, like i said it's it was important for his character she she was more so just like a um a extra piece to his puzzle not necessarily a main character she wasn't one of the, the crew so mm-hmm. she's not a she's not a main character she's more so just to, to help him get across that bridge yeah yeah but she was important convenient as fuck that she moved to that hotel <laughs> convenient like, she just got that job <laughs> out, of any, out of anywhere you gonna move you gonna move where they live and work but, at the hotel but who says it wasn't on purpose that's true too she might have did that shit on purpose uh, mm-hmm. after, that, after that nigga called her on Instagram uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. hey that nigga hit it that nigga dropped the phone like shit uh <laughs> <laughs> You a real creep, nigga. If you hitting a female up on Instagram <laughs> on some like, hey, just call like, nigga, you ain't got my number. Like, what? <laughs> That's what I say. Happy New Year. Come fuck out. <laughs> I butt dodged you, like, nigga, what? <laughs> I thought that's how he was gonna find out his son was gay just through the internet. As I thought he was when he was going through the uh, his he did. Oh, oh, you mean on his own? I was about to say own. he did though. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be on his own. I thought he was gonna be just scrolling when he was going through old girls' Instagram. I thought he was gonna see his sons. He was gonna have on, you know, some, some of his uh his stuff. Right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify and follow us on IG and TikTok.